in this meeting. Yes, Priyakshi, I'm very much there and I'm saving the bandwidth, so I'm not switching on my video. All right, ma'am. All right. And so, Dr. Monica, I thoroughly enjoyed your session, learned a few things as well, quite interactive and with full clarity, you have taken the session. Efforts are appreciated much better than your last session. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the bar which Dr. Monica has set, I'm able to follow it up. And we'll try to make my session also as interesting as possible. Yes, Priyakshi, go on. Meanwhile, I'll share my screen. Thank, Thank you, ma'am, so for your uh, Thank you so much. So uh, I would now like to invite one of our esteemed faculty members of CIT and CRT, Dr. Bharti Kaushik, ma'am, uh, head of the Department of Information, uh, Information and Communication Technology. Ma'am will be giving us a session on accessible digital resources. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Priyakshi. Now I can see on my screen... Um, a participant has enabled closed cap shell me what is a closed captioning and this participant also needs to tell me why this person has enabled the closed captioning yes anyone priyakshi you have to read out the chats if there are any yes sure ma'am i'll do that I'll, yes. Can't able to see anything. Abhi to, right now I haven't started sharing. I'm just asking why, what is closed captioning and why people need to enable it? What's it? And uh, Priyakshi, I'm not able to share the screen. Host has disabled participant screen sharing. I'm just trying to fix that only. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to fix wonderful. That. So who is the participant who has enabled the clo uh, closed captioning? No answers. Okay, then let's Ma'am, you'll be able to share the screen now. We have given ah, you the I have steps. done that. See whether my screen is visible. Yes? Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Okay, wonderful. So let me see whether I'm able. No, if I do the full screen, things would be lost. My system is like that only. So Priyakshi, no answer in the chat box? Ma'am, yes, sir, don't know. Oh, very good. So who has <laughs> written don't know? Hidlol Mukherjee, sir. Sandhya Pradhan, oh. ma'am. Okay. Okay. So we have no idea who has enabled closed captioning here. Okay. That's okay. You know, um, closed captioning, what it does, it helps in converting whatever is spoken into the written form, text form. So it's basically speech to text. And why it is needed, the session right now that I'm going to discuss is about accessible digital resources. So if I'm speaking something and there is a person in audience who is not able to listen due to X, Y, Z, whatever may be the reason, primarily it happens due to disabilities. So how can that person enjoy and engage with the sessions which are totally verbal language oriented? So for them, the option of closed captioning helps. It converts whatever is spoken into the text form. And how do I enable this? Try doing it. Classwork for everyone. Try enabling closed captioning. Zoom provides the option of closed captioning. All the all the functions are up at the click of two or three clicks away on your screen. So you can try enabling the closed captioning.
just write yes or done in the chat box if you are able to do it okay johnny has raised the hand yes johnny ji unmute yourself and say share what you want to share can't hear you some issue might be with my speaker no okay so priyakshi johnny sir is not saying anything right no ma'am okay wonderful so let me begin with the session so we have accessible and before i go on with slides priyakshi can you see dr alka joined in yes ma'am she is here okay ठीक है so accessible digital content what are accessible digital content before that there is a term called digital content since morning we are discussing about digital contents what are digital contents and we uh, in my morning address i said that we have all seen the significance of digital contents during pandemic so anything which can be accessed using digital electronic devices we can call them for crude labeling we can do um, as they are digital content we can give this overall label to that kind of a content as digital content and when that digital content becomes accessible to all each and every one then we call that accessible digital content now the first question that should come to your mind is what are what could be the barriers that prevents a content becoming accessible to everyone so these barriers could be the first and foremost is the language barrier you are comfortable in reading or writing in maybe hindi or malayalam but the content available is in english then automatically it will become non accessible to you if you prefer to have the content in sign language but the content is not available in sign language or maybe in braille format then that content becomes inaccessible to you or the content you prefer should be in audio format but at the moment say for example this ppt itself is not available in audio format so this ppt becomes inaccessible to you all so an accessible digital content in is one which is accessible and useful for everyone irrespective of abilities disabilities language background disadvantages and so on so what is the need and scope of accessible digital content as far as the school education is concerned accessible digital content reduces dropout rates due to lack of resources there are many students who just don't enjoy schooling and the teaching learning activities in the school because the content may not be in the format in which they prefer accessible digital content also facilitate accommodating addressing diverse needs and diverse learning styles thereby accessible digital content promotes inclusion now if all of you are relating inclusion to only disabilities kindly read chapter 6 of nep 2020 that talks about equity and inclusive education and nep 2020 has brought inclusion beyond the clutches or beyond the limitations of disability NEP 2020 talks about five identities that has been recognized we'll come to it in a second but before that let's see how do we define inclusive education as you might be aware inclusive education is a system of education wherein students with and without disability learn together and the system of teaching learning is 
adapted suitably to meet the learning needs of different students with disabilities and here you can add students with disadvantages as well in the light of nep 2020 now what is what should be sedgs sedgs are nothing but socio economically disadvantaged groups and this is the term coined in nep 2020 so how many identities of sedgs we are recognizing as per nep 2020 we recognize female and transgenders we recognize scheduled caste scheduled tribes obcs and minorities and this group is called socio cultural identities the third identity is of the students who are coming from villages small towns and who may reside in aspirational districts and also students from low performing districts this this makes the third identity geographical identity after gender socio cultural geographical identity the fourth one is comprising of migrant communities low income households children in vulnerable situations victims of or children of victims of trafficking orphans including child beggar in urban areas and the urban poor this is fourth identity which is termed as socio economic condition and the fifth identity is disabilities children having one or more disabilities and how many disability conditions we recognize legally in india nowadays it's 21 disability conditions and that too after the right of persons with disabilities act 2016 prior to this passage of this act by the government of india we were recognizing only seven conditions so now we are into the process of learning how to make the digital content and how to make the digital content accessible for all so if nep 2020 recognizes these five type of identities under sedgs then tell me one thing do i need to make content as per the need of 21 disabilities then add to it the socio economic accessibility to add to it geographical needs of children who are living in different small towns aspirational districts and lpds and then do i need to address so schedule ka schedule tribe and obc and minorities needs and then do i need to make content accessible for gender identities if i am going to count all these and plus the other groups who are rest, who are not included in these identities do i need to make this much variety of content no not at all let's focus on the learning needs so if you are making a digital content try to focus on the learning needs of students present in your classroom so you may write in the chat what are the learning needs that your experience tells you that needs to be addressed through digital content and i am waiting for at least a minute to see your answers what type of different learning needs we see in the classrooms dyscalculia okay then just that is dyscalculia a learning need or is it a disability language disability okay so let's see so the learning needs basically can be categorized into needs related to reading 
needs related to comprehension needs related to expression needs related to calculations needs related to connection with the content present okay and if the digital content that you are going to make or learn to make at the end of this workshop or training program if that is based on udl what is udl universal design of learning so what is universal design of learning says it says focus on multiple modes of expression engagement and representation what does it mean it means that whatever ppt whatever the content i am showing you on the slides of ppt that should be made available in audio format multiple means of representation it should be available in different languages it should be available in sign language as well and it should be available in any other preferred mode that makes you comfortable in engaging with this content if we are following principles of universal design of learning then we are making it accessible to each and every one let's see what nep says about supporting cwsn now note here i have written cwsn that means children with special needs i'm not right i have not written cwd children with disabilities because we are talking about taking care of each and every need based on whether it is arising due to disabilities or it is arising due to disadvantages yes somebody wants to say something okay okay ma'am the special child are not able to cope up with education system for normal child it's better they are educated separately where the teaching technique will be as per their need sir or madam why you think that way absenteeism visual skill disability addicted children addicted to what textbook your teaching peers skill absenteeism slow learner in reading and understanding other language except mother tongue okay so these are few of the things definitely so i'll come back to this question whether we should promote special education or we should promote inclusive education that's a very good discussion point so how do i support cwsn i can support cwsn through regular schooling and this is the most preferred and highly appro appreciated approach as of now why because regular schools can be made inclusive by giving lots and lots of provisions and facilities and support in the terms of special educators in the terms of accessible material in terms of providing therapies in terms of providing peer support and first of all the most important of all is regular schools are located very close to the students house so they are neighborhood schools so neighborhood schools are attended by almost every child in the neighborhood so the friendships from school reaches from home reaches school and from school to maybe higher education institute as well so so the support built in the early years of schooling continues that is why regular schooling or inclusive schoolings are preferred if that doesn't seem to work then think about why the inclusive neighborhood schools are failing and provide the enabling or as we call them divyang if that doesn't work think about what assistive devices and orientations that needs to be given to parents peers as well as the teachers as well and then if that also fails think about what alternative forms of schoolings will be helpful to the child to address the special needs now these alter alternative forms could be the open schooling could be the home based schooling and for these the provisions are there in nep 
then as a teacher how do i note the details of all these options that i have just talked about you can go for advanced training or courses during your in service time just now just now that you are just like the one you are attending right now the five days training program and enhance educational access to disadvantaged groups including the young students this is quite logical because again the schools which are in the neighborhood they are more beneficial for every the only thing is we need towards the needs and should have the attitude of glass being half filled instead of seeing the glass as half empty as somebody has mentioned that special children should go to special schools to that person i just want to ask this question if a special child is throughout in a special school will that child be able to adjust to the society later on will that child be able to contribute to the growth of the society think about it think about if stephen hawking was made to study in special school throughout and for that matters einstein and for that matters um abhishek bachchan they all had different needs special needs but they have done their schooling in the neighborhood schools and that is why they may not have had major issues in readjusting to the society so what is accessible e content e content and digital content i will be using the term interchangeably any electronic content which refers to the information delivered over network based electronic devices or that is made available using computer networks such as internet so what is accessible e content accessible e content is the one which provides the same information and opportunity to engage at the same degree as if a person is engaging with them who doesn't have any disability meaning if the content that i am delivering right now is verbatim available in audio format then a blind person would also be able to engage with the content in a similar fashion as you are right now engaging so that makes the content accessible second thing if you are making the content accessible it should be operable fully equally and independently that is the real sense of accessibility and since we are talking about e content so technology should be usable comparable with comparable e so now we have understood what is e content so i'm taking a one and a half minute break and the example available on your screen is mathematics textbook rimjim class 1 prepared by ncert you might be able to see a screen a page of textbook on your screens which shows some pictures and you have to answer some questions now if you have to make this content accessible how can you make it and your situation is you are working as a teacher taking online class and you have a blind child in your class i'm waiting for your answers in the chat box okay kiran ji peers can help him auditory feedback kiran ji again so kiran ji when you are saying auditory feedback could you please give me a sample we can mod make models for blind child yes absolutely we can make in the offline situation but your situation is 
the child is attending class online then what anyone can unmute and share through sound yes we can put dialogue we can explain in detail step by step of absolutely yes we can give him her clear instructions now hiroshi please tell me how can i give clear instructions based on the picture that is appearing on your screen text to voice of course but still audio is okay everyone who has written audio doing audio and somebody is saying your voice is not correct if i have to take this page to my audio uh so the other voice is breaking in the room and okay so i tell you about that i'm again sharing my screen so any answers that i have missed in the chat box yes priyakshi you can read it we have some answers yes sir okay so so ma'am there are certain uh, chats that i can see we can utilize another four sense organs other than sight then mm -hmm. uh, Jenny, ma'am, is saying explain things in minute details. Be dramatic when you narrate things, etc. Then, by touching things, audio instructions make it make him feel it by his body parts, such as nose and teeth. Nose is bigger and teeth is small. Ma'am, these are some of the chats that we have received from the participants. Okay, fine. So I am now inviting. Kiran Tamukji from AP, Arunachal Pradesh. Yes, madam. Tell me, how do I give the instructions? Hello. Yes, madam. Ma'am. Uh. Uh, visually challenged child uh, they can be like um, taught only uh, taught by this uh, audio tapes and all uh, mm -hmm. and uh, i think the teacher and his uh, <clears throat> the peers they should help him out like uh, and he can uh, let uh, uh, the he, he can be i let the things touched okay uh, the models should be presented to him to be touched and felt uh, according to me that much on this ma'am idea okay no idea. thank you now in an online situation how the peers will be able to help uh yeah the models or things can be arranged according to the topic which is uh, mm. online mm. hmm so okay yes. so um let me ask somebody else we have um 
Rinchen Ongyal from SK. SK is Sikkim, if I'm not wrong. Madam yes, Sir, yes. tell me. Ma'am, your voice is cracking. I am not properly, madam. You're not able to hear. Can you yes. see the picture on the yes, screen? Ma yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me, how do I teach this picture during online class to a child who is blind? Maybe more instructions, madam. Audio. Tell me the instructions. This is what I'm asking. Well, you can explain to them the animals, uh, the size assume, and things like that. Sir, yes, assume yourself to be their teacher. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, it's pretty well, difficult to explain well. also, ma'am, because if the child is blind since birth, then he or she may not have the know-how of how big or small an animal is. So. so should we delete this topic from the textbooks for everyone? No, no. No, ma'am. Hmm. If no, then I need the no, answer. Yes. Ma'am, for a visually impaired children, do you do braille? Do you have digital text also? Very nice. Those are having, Very nice. Those but, having, hello? Ha, madam, braille is tactile. How can I give a tactile stimulus in an online class? Madam, digital text. A digital text. This is digital text only. I have snipped it from the textbook and pasted in my PPT. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, ma'am, this is me. So now, what shall I do? Yes, Sherpa Ji, tell me. Uh, yes, as we are dealing with a, a blind child, first, uh, uh, we have to make us a, a create a sound and let, let them know that this sound is of uh, hippopotamus, hippopotamus, and the size of hippopotamus is bigger than the dog. So likewise, we have to uh, make them familiar with the uh, sound and the size. After that, we can make a assessment text by by uh, inculcating. Uh, text into voice application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. you are on a right track, sir. But if you'll say hippo is bigger than a puppy, you are giving the answer. So for that, for that we have to uh, convert the questions into uh, from text to voice. Na? So so after uh, so for that uh, there should be some option. First we have to play the a uh, voice hippo mm. so the, the with uh, suppose in questions we have to write the size of a uh, tick the oh yeah to tick uh, there will be problem in ticking mm. can't tick. Chalo, ticking i can modify like identify which one is bigger yeah the hippo or the puppy let me modify this question like this so my audio recordist will record this question as on this page, there are four questions given. Okay. Each question has two pictures. Let's begin reading picture number one. Yes. So picture number one has two animals. One is hippopotamus and another is a puppy. Hippopotamus lives in the marshy land. And this is the sound of hippo, followed by the sound of hippo. Yes. And a hippo is bigger than you. Now, I have a class okay. one child in my mind. Good. So I can say hippo is bigger than you. Now, come to the second picture. The second part of the picture contains a puppy. Puppy is the young one of a dog. And puppy speaks like this. Sound of puppy. Yeah. And puppy is no bigger than your knee. Okay. Tell me which one is bigger, the hippo or the puppy? Uh, good. Right? We can do that. 
Yes. Now okay. somebody is saying, what about the leaves? Yes. Definitely. Uh, for leaves. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm uh, very, ah. very sorry to interrupt, but no we are running short of time, ma'am. We'll have to wind up in another five minutes. So sure. uh, I just wanted to do a time check. Sorry, sure, 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 sure. Thank you for this. Yes, so <clears throat> where I was, yes. So for uh, leaf, what we can do is the purpose of associating animals with sound serves two purpose. Everyone may not have heard the sound of hippo. So if whether irrespective of disability, we are making the sound of hippo in the audio, we are including it. Everyone becomes familiar with the sound of hippo. And a blind child might have seen a puppy in the environment near the houses barking, might have heard, but may not be able to associate sound with the name of puppy. So name puppy, so that association occurs because blind children identify animals through their sounds. Now coming to the leaf. Question two shows two leaves. One leaf you will not be able to hold in your palm. Second leaf you will be able to hold in your palm. So leaf one is smaller or leaf two is smaller. Right? This way we can convert this page into audio and these instructions needs to be given to the artist who is going to record the audio. Or if the teacher is converting text into audio, this thing should be very clear in the mind of the teacher or the person. Now, the rest of the slides I'll not be showing, but I just want to show you some videos from Diksha. And these are related to, let me stop share. And let me see, uh, Priyakshi, will you be able to show Diksha ISL videos a sample? If I'll give you directions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So go to Diksha. Just a second. My pleasure, Sherpa Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Okay. So once you reach Diksha, go to um, choose, huh, go to explore Diksha. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Once you explore Diksha, the board is CBSC, NCRT, medium is English. Choose class one. Oh, now it's class one and 11. Just choose class yes, one. Yes. Done, ma'am. Choose subject, any subject. Oh. English. Okay. Now, in English, you can see two books, Marigold and Raindrop. Choose Marigold. Yes, then on the right hand side, yes. Go down, down till you reach blue hand. There is a blue hand almost at the end. Yes. Click on anyone. No, the blue hand, Priyakshi. Okay, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. No, yes, no, no, the upper one. Teacher's page also you could do, but do three pigs. Yes. You have clicked on three pigs? Yes. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, ensure if I've shared my sound so that uh, the audience can. Yes. Page eight. Three little pigs. Listen and enjoy this story. Once there were three little pigs. Sonu, Monu and Gonu. Thank you Priyachi. You can uh, stop it here. Okay ma'am. And stop sharing as well. So this is it. Friends, this is how we have attempted to make the content accessible. And it has uh, the video, very short video that Priyakshi has helped me in showing you from Diksha. Contains audio and video and sign language as well. The text is highlighted also. So in case the child or you and me is not able to understand sign language, we can engage through audios and text. So this is all from my side.
but with a request and expectations to from everyone that whatever content you are going to design keep in mind the inclusive classrooms the needs of all the learners right thank you everyone looking forward to seeing you good contents on the valedictory so i'll be there in the valedictory don't forget and i'm going to ask you thank yes. you priyakshi over to you if no questions are there no ma'am i can't see any questions there everybody is praising this wonderfully engaging session on accessible resources which majorly focused on inclusivity learning needs differentiated instruction and uh, the participants can also explore these isl videos on diksha as you saw from the demo that was shown to you at the end you can uh, share these with your students and ensure that students are at par with the teaching learning process as you hold the torch of education as teachers here i would once again like to thank bharti ma'am for giving us such a wonderful session thank you once again ma'am and uh, dear participants we will now take a short break of 15 minutes uh, it's going to be a tea break so uh, we will meet again in another 15 minutes sharp at 345 thank you also we will be sharing the attendance form for the evening session please fill it with your official name which you have uh, added or entered in the registration form and uh, based this attendance form is important please ensure that you fill this at the earliest thank you you don't have to add your state code Uh, at the beginning of your name in the registration or the attendance form it is only for the zoom session thank you so we will see you again at 345 now